Wait a second. Lightning speed? Uh, hi. Lightning speed, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, I just... I had to come see you. So you come to my house at the early hours of the morning? Bit creepy. I know, I, I just wanted to talk because I don't like the way things were left. Can I come in? Um... Um... I'll meet you outside. Um... Okay. There. I'll be back soon, Star. Wow. Hey, stranger. Rainbow. Oh, wow, you look... beautiful. Well, thank you, Charming, but I hope you didn't drag me outside at 5 a.m. for that. No, uh, of course not. I just thought it'd be good to talk in person, you know. Well, let's talk. Not here. Um, can I take you somewhere? Um, okay, just promise not to murder me. <laughs> Come on. My head. Oh. Oh, hey, kitty. What's that you got there? Huh. Hey, where's Rainbow? Oh, let's look at this. Hey, gone to see Lightning Speed. Need to talk to him. We'll talk to you later. What? Why would she need to talk to Lightning Speed? Oh. So, she just went off on her merry way and left me here? Wow. Great. What a caring friend. Wow. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna wait around and wait to hear about two of my best friends making out. Ugh. Huh? Uh, hello? Uh, hey. Oh. Hey, Nightlight. Um, what's up? Yeah, I kind of wanted to check how you were doing, considering how much you drank last night. Uh, if you must know, my head hurts. So, you and Rainbow okay? Well, if you must know, Rainbow's just gone off with lightning speed somewhere and left me a note. Oh, so you're on your own in her house? Yes, this is totally weird. It's just me and her cat. Meow. Well, if you want, you can always come to mine. My mom's making her super special breakfast. And it sounds like you need it. Oh, yes, that would be heaven. I'll be over in like five. All right, well, you know where I live. See you later. All right. Oh, guess who's getting Nightlight's mom's extra special breakfast? Meow? Me. Now let's hope that'll make me feel better. <sighs> wow, I've never been to this park before. Really? It's like one of my favorite places to go. Especially when it comes to talking to pretty girls. Oh, so I'm not the first girl you brought here. Oh yeah, I go on plenty of dates with pretty girls. I mean, how can I help it with a face like this? <laughs> okay, drop the funny act lightning speed. You were quiet on the whole walk here. So, what did you want to talk about? Well, really it was about what happened last night. And I know we spoke on the phone about it, but I feel like there's just so much more I wanted to say. Um, same. Look, I, I know you said we're okay, but I just want to know what is okay to you. I mean, 
you know I like you, and I like you too. So what I really want to ask you is, what happens now? <laughs> wow, I've got to say, you're very straightforward for a guy. I know this may not be the normal way to do it, but I just couldn't wait to see you. I just wanted to know if we were something or not, instead of having this whole confusing game. Lightning speed, what is it you're really asking me? Rainbow, I really like you. I've had feelings for you since before you even knew who I was. Since you just saw me as the class clown and hated me. Lightning speed, I never hated you. I was just being a typical mean girl. You know, I never think of you as just a class clown. In fact, I've been thinking of you a lot lately. And I've been thinking about you. And after last night, it confirmed a lot of things for me, like how I want to ask if you'd be my girlfriend. Whoa, um, don't we need to like, uh, have a few fights first, maybe kiss other people to make each other jealous, have all these questioning conversations of where's your head at? Rainbow, I'm not that kind of guy. I just really want to be straight up with you. So please, just answer the question. Would you want to be my girlfriend? Um... Well... Ugh, oh, I knew it. I'm moving too fast. Just forget I said anything. I'd love to. <gasps> it lives! Uh, shut up. Oh, wow. Oh, good morning, Starswell, dear. You're looking, um... Uh, I know, I don't look the greatest. Uh, late night? It was uh, a late night studying, Mom. Oh, well, glad to know you young ones are working hard. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> studying is my favorite thing. Pushing it a bit. Anyways, I've made you a full breakfast here. Uh, thank you so much. It smells delicious. Yeah, Mom makes the best breakfast. Oh, oh my gosh. Mrs. Purse, I could marry you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Starswell. <laughs> Mom, she's joking. <laughs> oh, Starswell, you are always so um peculiar with your humor. <laughs> or am I joking? Shut up. Anyway, Starswell, dear, tell me how your family is. Oh yeah, uh, my sister and my dad are doing good. <laughs> oh really? That they're okay, you know, since your mother's recent passing. Mom, I don't think Starswell wants to talk about that. No, it it's fine. Um, yeah, we're coping. I mean, each day at a time, right? Oh, of course, dear. Um, I'll leave you two to it. I've got some work to do. But after this nightlight, straight back to studying. Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. Shut up. I can't believe you told her we were up studying. She actually believes that? Hey, it's the only way I can get her to let me leave the house. Yeah, your mom's something. So, um, Rainbow went to see Lightning Speed? Yeah, she didn't say what about, but I assume it's about them two as a thing, you know. But hopefully those guys decide to, you know, call it quits. You think that would happen? I hope so. Imagine if those two got together. The awkwardness. And I don't think they're really right for each other. Oh yeah? Are you sure you're saying they shouldn't be together because you don't want them together? I just don't think they're a good fit, that's all. Anyways, last night, what was going on? Everyone was in tears. Oh, uh, right. Well, you were a bit busy drinking. Yeah, so tell me why Lightning Speed and Helia, Starbeam, Plum Sweet, why were they all so dramatic last night? It was all my fault. You know about how Rainbow wanted to make a plan about me flirting with Plum Sweet because she liked me, so then Starbeam would get jealous and try and come between us. So the plan actually worked? Yeah, Starbeam tried to kiss me and Plum Sweet saw it all. But so did Helia. Oh, and I'm guessing she wasn't exactly happy about that. She thought it was cruel, and she was right. I shouldn't have done it. Playing with Plum Sweet's feelings? For what? <sighs> and then to top it all off, Lightning Speed found out about my crush on Helia. So that's why you guys weren't talking? <gasps> this makes so much more sense now. I don't know. I just hope he isn't mad at me still, but 
I can't help the way I feel, can I? You can't, but it's just a pity the way it came out, I guess. Especially with Helia now being angry at you too. You're not exactly in their good books. But how do I get back in their good books? Can I even? Lightning Speed thinks I'm a jerk. Helia thinks I'm a jerk. How do I change their minds? I would probably talk to them, although Helia is definitely more open to talking. Lightning Speed likes to talk with his hooves. Yeah, I mean, he thought I had a crush on you. What? Well, that explains why he was all like, ooh, what do you think of Nightlight? And I was like, what are you on about? Yeah, and I thought he knew that it was Helia I liked, so we were both just not on the same page, and then it ended up a mess. Lightning Speed can't stay mad at you forever. Us three have been buddies for years now. Yeah, and that's years I've been lying to him, saying I wasn't interested in Helia at all. Just, when you get the chance, before school, talk to him. Or talk to Helia, she's definitely more open-minded. Yeah, I guess I'm just afraid to make the first move. Oh, now who could that be? Oh, Helia! What a wonderful surprise! <gasps> um, hi Mrs. Purse, is Nightlight in? Oh yes, sir, I'll go fetch him for you. <sighs> go out there and talk to her. She made the first move. Nightlight, come out here. Helia wants to speak to you. <laughs> He'll be here in second, darling. Um... You got this. Uh... Hi, Helia. Hi. I think we need to talk. 